to your shoulders, your heels push away and drop to your knees. Relax your toes and push your bottom back. Inhale, hands and knees. And exhale, push your bottom back. Breathe in, bring your shoulders over your hands. Good. And as you push back, push your bum to your heels. Now, what, what is in need of a bit of love and TLC? Maybe you need to move your hips side to side. Maybe you need to really grow into your stature and stretch your fingers and rise up through the shoulders and then push back. So you're finding yourself in this movement. You're finding your nuances, maybe your weaknesses, it's all good, but you're finding your strengths, your power, what you're working on, shoulder strength, neck strength, good. So pause for a moment at the top and then lift one knee. So the knee, it doesn't matter how high it goes because what it's going to do is just cuddle the back of the other knee. Then lift the knee and land the knee and do that on the other side. Lift the knee, take the knee behind the supporting knee, lift the knee and when you've done one on each side, push your bottom back and hang out for a moment. Just let your body recover. Inhale, climb up. Eye gaze at the top of the mat. Arms nice and strong and long. Pushing the hands into the floor. And at the same time as you keep your body still, the leg, the knee, is hooking behind the other knee. And then push your bottom back and let your breath go. Inhale, power up. Lift the leg, cross it over. So imagine that you have something really valuable, something really precious on your lower back that you want to keep still. And that will help us to keep the lower back in neutral. And when I say neutral, I mean natural curve, not an arch, not a dip, a neutral curve. You keep the leg comfortable. I know you're loving this. I can see that you're having fun. So you're very welcome to stay at that level or extend the legs. Yes. <laughs> Shoulders over hands, lift one leg, cross it over the other leg, land the foot. Take the other leg and cross it over and land the foot. Now everyone, knees to the floor, bum back to heels. Inhale, either on your knees or on your toes, either lift the knee or lift the leg and squeeze, and then the other side and squeeze, and then everyone, all together, knee drops, bum goes back, release. Keep going, three more. Eye gaze to the top of the mat, lift the legs, cross the knee or the leg. So you're using every component of your body, arms and shoulders, upper back and chest, legs, and of course, your core. Two more. So power up, shoulders over hands, You'll see people start to drop their head when they get tired. So keep your shoulders up. Keep your eye gaze on the floor in front of you and push back. That's more important than anything. Keeping that habit of powerful shoulders, arms, postural strength. That's what we want to keep. Now recover. And what does that recovery look like? Is it a wrist rotation? Is it a bottom shuffle, side to side? I do like, not everyone's cup of two, I do like a forearm stretch. So a level one forearm stretch would be a wrist rotation. A level two would be pulling the fingers down, starting to get into oh, that bit. 
and therefore crazy is fingertips on the floor, bum high. And if that's working, mm -hmm, hand on the floor, okay, a bit scary. And then this might make your tummy flip. <laughs> Doing it gently, I'm going to bring my hands closer to my knees, bringing your bottom to, oh, towards your heels. How's that? Is that a no? <laughs> See how that feels, breathe. That's a forearm stretch. So when you come up, your arms are going to feel a little weird. So come up slow. Whoa. It's a natural range of movement, might not feel that. And then the opposite move. So the back of the hand pushes away. Hopefully that's less sinister. And then again, Fingertips on the floor. These are all levels, or the whole of the hand on the floor. And then work to bring your bottom towards your heels. Good work. So I gave you a challenge at the beginning. What is the exercise that we haven't done this term? Do you remember? It is the plank. <laughs> Forearms down. You knew, didn't you, Judith? Take the legs back. Toes on the floor, well you didn't because you were off poorly, but that was the one we missed out. Tummy muscles pulled in, feet on the floor, elbow directly underneath shoulder. And all we're going to do is lift our tummy muscles and then let them lower. The reason I couldn't put this in at the beginning of term is because I couldn't lift my tummy muscles off the floor <laughs> after Christmas. So broaden the shoulders, pull the tummy in, Scoop your belly, that's level one. Climb onto your knees, that's level two. And roll down. And do it again, ear, shoulder, hip, in line. And roll down. Good, so I prefer to either clasp my hands or press my hands together so that I'm very clear on my thumbs. Because my thumbs here are my cue. Nose lines up with thumbs. If you're starting to let your nose go to your elbows, then you've lost posture. Nose over thumbs. Okay, so on your knees, lift one leg. Cross the knee over. Coming. Other side. I think this is really tough for the abdominals. Rest. Good. Nice line, Ben. It's lovely. So on your knees. Nose over thumbs, cross one knee over, cross the other knee over, and then land. You're working the wall, and it is a wall of muscle, your six pack. It's working really hard with your back muscles, so that takes up the core. You're working your deep abdominal, and by crossing your legs over, you're working your obliques. So keep it going. Lovely. And I'm going to level it up again by trying it on the toes. So on your toes, that's a full body exercise. That's abdominal work as well. You take the foot across, everyone lands on their knees, everyone comes down. Four more, my angels, come on, together. Knees or toes. Knee crosses or foot crosses. So this is your grit, this is your determination, this is your focus, this is where we stay together. Don't mind what you do, which level you're on, but work with me. Whether you're just lifting the tummy off the floor, or you're coming right up onto your knees, whether you're crossing your knees or your feet, it's all good. But stay with me, because we've got one more. Together, knees or toes? Legs or knees? Good. And all the way down. Whew. I'm going into the pose of a child. Toes together, knees wide, and arms press forward. And lower back releases. Lie on your back. Tower 
underneath your head, knees into chest, hands on your knees and feel the warmth of that circle pushing your lower back into the floor. So there's certain recovery positions that we all enjoy. Find your recovery position. Hmm. I'm going to go round the other way and go right to the edges of the circle. Right under your glutes, not to your back. Good. Now bring the feet to the floor. Hands to the side, palms up, a little away from your body. Helps to release the chest and takes the tension out of the neck. This is why the only piece of equipment that's really essential in my opinion, is your towel underneath your head. Bring the knee over the hip, push your back down, so come out of posture, lift the second knee. Return to posture, so what you do is you return to neutral, pull your belly button to spine, and keep the upper body relaxed as you allow one leg to lower, and then the other. And the challenge is to keep the foot off the floor. Don't touch. Now know your body. Where do you take this tension? We're aiming to take it here. However, there's quite a lot of muscles that want to take over. Shoulders and neck. <gasps> okay, relax them. Legs, they like taking over. Relax them. Hips. Because your knees at 90 degree, your hips, especially if you do a lot of walking or running, hips get really tight. So spend a few moments releasing them. Good. Lovely, let that breath go and find your rhythm. As with all Pilates moves, this is about keeping the center of your body still. This is good, this is not what we're looking for. <laughs> so if you feel that your back is arching or lifting, you've lost the move. So give yourself a hug, well done, you've passed. Hands on your knees, find your recovery. So I'm going to add in a little bit more, a bit more excitement. Knees over hips. Take one hand behind your head and the other hand by your legs. Raise the head and shoulders, one foot towards the floor, other foot towards the floor. You're going to like this, stylish. Take the hand above your head and swap hands. <laughs> other hand behind your head, other hand by your leg. Tap one foot, tap the other. Now I'm going to give you a moment to release your neck before you do that one again. So this is round two. One tap, other tap, and transition the arms. One tap, and the other tap, and give yourself a moment to release your head. Raise the head and shoulders, release one arm, one tap. Good, so the hand is very close to the body line. Now it swaps, and one tap, and one tap. So how did we start this exercise? Just a little memory trigger. We started with just the legs. Then we raised the head and we added the arm. What could we do to make it harder still? Come in as you think that through and pick up a hand weight. <laughs> So we could make a trans, I'm going to do it with one hand weight because I think it'll be fun. Raise the head and shoulders, one hand behind your head, palm turns in, circular part of the hand weight to the sky, it's easier for the shoulder. One foot, other foot, hold, take the arm above your head, doesn't that look dramatic? Other hand behind your head, tap. Tap, okay, give yourself a moment to recover. As you swap, release the head, raise the head and shoulders, palm turns in, one foot, other foot. Keep the head off the floor this time, 
as you swap one foot, other foot, and bring your head to the floor. We're going to do three more of these. Raise the head and shoulders. Tap and lower. Good, I'm loving it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Swap hands. Tap. Good. And the other. Give yourself a moment to rest your head. We've got two more. Raise the head. Yes, you hear the urgency in my voice. Because you're working well. And this is the couple that make the difference. Tap and tap. Take a moment to recover as we do one last round together. Tap and tap. Feeling strong? Arm above your head, hand by your leg. Tap and tap and you're successful. Bring the feet to the floor. Let the breath totally go as the knees move slowly, side to side. Picks up a lot of work. Remove the towel from under your head. Bring the hand weights above you, palms turned in. So I would call that shoulder height in line with my shoulders. Feet on the floor, both arms above your head or challenging, ribs down, palms turn to the sky. Now sweep the hands all the way round to the side of your bum. Okay, good. Lift the arms all the way above your head. So don't lift the head. Turn the palms up and slowly circle down to your legs. Lift and Circle. Can you feel the full work in your chest and your shoulders? Can we get that feeling of 360? Big full circle. So with no towel underneath your head, start to lift the bum. So lift the bottom because the glutes are part of the core strength. And then circle, and as the circle lowers, as the arms lower, let the bottom lower. So lift the arms, lift the bum. Can you get to your full height? Can you really push those hips high before you start to lower? Three more, lift the arms, squeeze the bum all the way up, and then slowly descend all the way down. Two more, a rhythm, a pace, a breath, a flow that you enjoy, that makes you feel powerful, successful and brilliant. Good, so I'm going to circle the other way. So I'm going to start the circle above my head, hands above your head, palms turned in and bring the hands down once again to the side of your bum. Palms face the sky above your head, ribs down, ribs lower. That's the obliques. So as the arms lift up, the ribs will want to lift. Your job is to lower the ribs. Okay, feet on the floor. Instead of lifting the bum, raise the head. Bring the hands towards the knees, pulse. Bring the hands towards the side of the bum, pulse, and then palms up to the sky, lower the head. Lift the head, pulse a few times towards the knees, pulse towards the floor, palms up, and lower the head. Take the hands up, raise the head and shoulders, good, pulse to the knees, Pulse to the side of the legs and lower the head. We have two more. So it's powerful, but it also feels in control. Lovely, a slow circle above the head. Palms turn in, raise the head. Couple of pulses to the knees, good. Couple of pulses to the thighs, nice. Arms open. 
Take the feet wider than your mat. Let go of the hand weights if you want. And let your knees draw side to side. Good. So I want to share something with you. So I've got lots of different um, clients and class doctors and um, sailors, all sorts of different things. And I get into trouble, port starboard, left, right, <laughs> forward and back. <laughs> My language has to be very specific. So bring your knees to me. <laughs> this is what I would call the top leg. However, there are certain professions that wouldn't call it. So yesterday, I would say, bring the leg that's closest to your heart, and that caused chaos. Top leg lifts. <laughs> Heel lands on the side of the knee. So I need your comments. Would you call that your top leg, or is the other one the top leg? Turn your head and feel the yawn across the chest. Feel the IT band, that tight fascia down there. It's all very exciting. And then release. So give yourself a couple of rolls side to side before the feet turn away from me. So the legs are really wide, the feet are really wide, which takes the leg nearest your shoulder, the top leg. <laughs> Lift the heel and place it on the bottom leg, side of the knee. Controversial, I know. And turn your head away. Oh, oh, where does it go? IT band, waist. Oh. Be with it, let it breathe, release it. Drop it. Excellent. Good work, so release the legs. What is your best way to come up to take a seat. Is it a few rolls and then turning onto your right side? Is it hands underneath your knees and rocking up? And just take a moment to acknowledge the work that you've done. Physically, you've worked your abdominals, you've worked your backs, you've worked your glutes, You've worked your chest and shoulders, so just to congratulate yourself for the physical work you've done. And look at the way that you focus, that mental acuity that you have given yourself, that clarity of thought, because you've spent the last hour just concentrating on you. And then you've looked at readdressing that hormone balance, that emotional imbalance going from fast pace, even if it's just in your thoughts, to slow pace, to releasing, to digesting. So bearing that all in mind, lift your arms all the way to the sky and let it come into your body. I'm all about creating good habits. And that good habit is congratulating yourself for your great work. I truly admire you. Thank you so much for sticking with it. Well done.